I'm Camille Pauly, and today on Faith Matters, let's talk about what makes us valuable. Abortion advocates often try to put a biological criteria on when a human being becomes a legally protectable person, such as it has to have arms and legs, it has to be able to breathe on its own outside the womb, it has to have a beating heart or a certain IQ. But every one of these criteria is completely subjective and arbitrary. Have you ever met a person without arms and legs? I have, and he managed to manifest a beautiful transcendent nature. My father couldn't breathe on his own without an oxygen tank for an entire year before he died. Was he not a human person? My young children's IQs simply do not measure up to mine. Do they deserve less protection under the law than I do? You know, I've debated abortionists who make the arbitrary claim that an embryo is not a person until the nervous system is fully functioning. Well, aside from the inconvenient fact that the nervous system is not fully functioning until you're about 20 years old, what possible justification is there for excluding human beings from the category of personhood simply because their nervous systems are still being formed? Apparently, they don't need a fully formed nervous system to do what human beings do at that stage. So why are we excluding them from personhood on that ground? The truth is, they contain the very same potential for actualizing the goodness of their transcendent nature that you and I have. And that's what makes them infinitely valuable.